wait. I think the only time I think I've been able to understand myself was on an acid trip. Then things were really clear. What's going on, kings and queens? Royal Gilly here from Team Royal Gaming. Maybe not. Yeah. Um, Mario P on my last video left a comment. And that's what you should do on this video. Leave a comment so it can inspire another video. Say whatever the fuck you want. Whatever's on your mind. Whatever you've been going through recently. I want to hear about it. And leave a like. Why not? Click the like button. He says, Mario P says, Is it bad to have sex with drunk girls? That's a good fucking question because this is rape talk. Touchy subject. And I like touchy subjects. So, according to my notes, okay, here's what you gotta know. Drunk girls, for the most part, bad news, okay? It depends how you look at it. If you look at it like a normal dude, right? Drunk girls, fuck no, disgusting. Disgusting, horrible creatures. Crying and sloppy and smelling bad and obnoxious and fucking embarrassing the shit out of themselves. You don't want any part of that. Go hang out with your homies, get drunk, and do some fun shit. But if I'm drunk too, if I'm drunk and there's drunk girls, oh, best shit in the world. Connection made. Like, there's nothing better than being drunk with a drunk girl who is in no matter what state she's in. Shit usually is like, easy. That's the problem. Easy, okay? I think you have to have, you gotta be smart. And when you're drunk, and if this girl's drunk, hopefully you're sober, okay? Because the question sounds more like it from a sober perspective, should you fuck this girl who's drunk? My answer initially is yeah, but you really have to read it. If the girl's like, sure, yeah, I'll do it. If she just seems like, if she's not like begging for your cock, if she's not like, oh, I'm so drunk, fuck me, like, really kind of conscious. If she's like passing out and shit, like, oh yeah, sure, go ahead. And like falling asleep and shit, she's gonna wake up and be like, oh my god, I got raped. And then you're fucked at that point, for real. You're fucked. But, oh yeah, you, you get fucked. Rape. Fucked, okay? So you gotta really read it. Unless this girl, she's gonna be one of the opposites, okay? Either completely fucking down and you'll be like, okay, I can fuck this girl. Or it's like, she's on the edge. Which means if she was sober, she'd be saying no, okay? She wouldn't even have to be saying no. You guys wouldn't even be in bed together, okay? So should you fuck drunk girls? Yes, absolutely. Get your dick wet. As long as we're talking legal sex here, above the age of 16, if you're like over 18, you know, just if you're not breaking the law, that is, okay? Um, but sex is good. Drunk sex is better. Maybe. <laughs> um, yeah, that's all I really got to say about that. I think, um, I think that'll do it, guys. I think that'll fucking do it, okay? Go fuck some drunk girls. But be careful. Wear a condom. If she's on birth control, bust in there. And if she is passed out, you're you're raping her. You are a fucking creep. Trying to just put your dick in a basically non-conscious wet hole. Don't do that shit. That's not what sex is. Sex is not busting a nut. That's what you jack off for, okay? Sex is pleasuring your girl. That's it. That's all it is. And out of that, out of pleasuring the fuck out of this girl, gives you pleasure. Win-win situation, because the girl falls in love with you hard, and you get to feel good. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Again, click the like button, and I'll peace out. Peace out just like that, Girl Scout. Bye! Hi, my name is... Hi, my name is...